Welcome back. So in this video, I would like to find the Galois group of the polynomial x to the third minus 3x plus 3 over q. So to get started, we're going to do some basic calculus on this polynomial. So the derivative of the polynomial is 3x squared minus 3. And we notice that this is 0 when x is plus or minus 1. So we're going to use this to figure out how many real roots this polynomial has. Uh, and we don't actually need to know what the roots are. Uh, we just need to know how many there are. OK, so notice that if I denote my polynomial by f of x, say this is f of x, then I have f of negative 3 is equal to negative 27 plus 9 plus 3. So this is negative 15, which is less than 0. Uh, also notice that f of 0 is equal to 3. And notice that f of 2 is equal to 8 minus 6 plus 3, which is equal to 5, which is greater than 0. OK, so I have my interval. I know that the only critical points are plus and minus 1. And I know that uh, the polynomial is greater than 0 here, greater than 0 here less than 0 here. So I know that um, because of that, it has exactly one real root. So the shape of the polynomial is going to be something like that. OK? Great. So this means that I have one real root, one root in R. Uh, and therefore, there are two complex roots. So the thing that you always know about polynomials like this is that if they have uh, at least two complex roots, then the Galois group, so let's just write uh, Galois group of k over q, um, contains conjugation. So I'll just call this 1, 2. But whatever the Galois group is, it contains uh, an element that sends every complex number to its conjugate. And I know that um, such, a, um, uh, such a map is going to fix uh, all the elements of Q. So it's going to be an element of the Galois group. OK? So and then I know that the uh, Galois group in this case is going to be a subgroup of um, S3. And that's just because the Galois group permutes the roots of my polynomial. And it's a degree 3 polynomial, so it has three roots. Um, and I also know that uh, the Galois group is transitive in this case. I know that the Galois group is transitive. And uh, being transitive just means that there's at least one element of the Galois group that is an n cycle, so in this case, a 3 cycle. Uh, and I know that because my polynomial is irreducible. OK, so I know that this is irreducible. Um, simplest way to check that it's irreducible is to use Eisenstein's criterion with p is equal to 3, right? Because uh, 3 divides this coefficient, um, but 3 squared doesn't divide the constant coefficient. So I know that this is irreducible. Um, OK, so I know that this is a transitive subgroup of S3. Um, because it's transitive, it contains a permutation of the roots that looks something like this. It doesn't have to be this specific cycle. It just depends on how you number the roots. Um, but it contains at least one 3-cycle. 
and it contains at least one uh, two cycle. And it's pretty easy to uh, prove just by thinking about the elements of S3. I mean, it only has six elements, right? Uh, that if I have such a subgroup of S3, then it has to just be all of S3. Okay, the only way I'm going to have a, a three cycle and a basic transposition is if my Galois group is equal to S3. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching.